Hey everyone, this is Jesse. I um, just want to make a little video about how to wear the breath belt for the first time. So when you get your breath belt right out of the package, you go ahead and open it up. You want to find these sleeves in the back. So in the back, you'll, you know, you'll see some rigid paneling. There's a little sleeve in there. That's going to fit, um, put some compression in there for the top of your SI joints. So go ahead and put that, line that right around. So the way I like to do it, it's not rocket science, I just line the bottom up with either the top of my butt crack or the bottom with my pubic bone. So we, we can always pull it up, but we might as well start lower, right? And by lining it up there, you're, you're gonna cover the two or three inches on the top of your uh, hip bones, okay? So we're just gonna do the first layer. And if you'll notice, when you open your left hand, there's gonna be the pockets. Those pockets will go right here and right here. So I'm gonna kind of lean over like this. I'm gonna exhale and reach with the left, exhale. And if you'll notice, there's a little Velcro on your right side. Now I can line it up and then I can push it all the way over. Cool. So right now, if you diaphragmatically breathe, so when you inhale, expand, exhale, and you can already feel that compression because your hips are really being uh, pushed in. Um, so it takes a little getting used to, it just gets even tighter and tighter based on comfort. So now that we have it on, we can kind of line it up again, right at the pubic bone, top of the butt crack, we can always lift it up later. So lots of things can go back there. Uh, half of the cross ball, I like, you know, I do glute activation stuff with um, this Mark Bell slingshot, I like that anyway. So I just go ahead and fold this thing up kind of carry my gym around with me, my glute gym, breath belt in a, in a slingshot. So right there, I have that right at the top of my SI joints. We wanna compress those SI joints so they're not sticking to one side. So lots of things you can put in here. I like just tennis balls, but especially the Jill Miller Yoga tune-up balls. Um, that's just what I recommend to everybody. I've been using them for a long time. So you can put the balls in the sleeves, okay? And you wanna line it up between your ASIS, the pointy part of uh, your hip bone, and your belly button. So tracking the psoas muscle, okay? So you can always start down and work your way up. So I'm just going a little bit south, right here, nice and low. Now, if you have a worse hip or, you know, hip replacement or just, you know, an injury, you have trouble firing that glute on the next side, you can just take that tennis ball and put it in a double folded sock. So we got just a little bit more compression. Cause remember, this is all about intra-abdominal pressure. We're matching pressure with pressure. So I like, you know, those myofascial release balls or a tennis ball, we're gonna force, you know, as you, you wanna push out, the tennis ball is not gonna let it go anywhere. So it's gonna squeeze, which means props you up, hips go forward and propping you up. So I can, just breathing into it, I'm practicing. Exhale, let it sink deeper. Inhale, and already, even though the second layer's on, I notice my hips are scooped up. I'm a little bit more in extension, okay? So now I'm gonna take the second layer. I'm gonna lean over, I'm gonna exhale. Exhale, and you notice in your right hand, uh, the Velcro sticks right here, then you can place it. The next version will have a little Velcro piece for extra over here, but uh, it'll stick just fine. Just takes a couple uses. Whew. And you can feel that compression already. So, you know, if, you're, if you have back pain, you might wanna start down on the ground, laying down with their head on a pillow, feet up in the air 90 degrees, feet flat on the wall but most people can just put this thing on, breathe already, even if I'm chest breathing, you know, you're still gonna create compression and length to get your glutes on, but the intent is for the breath to reinforce the glute firing pattern. Glutes, hamstrings, opposite key well. So when you walk, go get your morning coffee, you know, doing the dishes, whatever it might be. When you inhale, push it out, exhale, let it go deeper. Try that for you know a couple minutes, three in, three out, four in, four out, five in, five out. You might notice your body starts to flush, kind of activates the limb system, sometimes the digestion system, but you'll notice, especially when you're walking, even sitting at a desk, it's just, 
you know, you just feel propped up. Uh, for exercise, of course, hip hinge, take, take a look at the Instagram stories, but put your hands together like this, press them together, exhale, do a reverse lunge, push those balls out on the way down. You'll notice your knee drops straight down and because your glutes are on. And if you inhale, push those balls out, push them out, push them out while you're holding your breath, all of a sudden, my shoulder range of motion is better. Why is that? Because your psoas connects to your T12 in your rib cage. People don't understand. If you find length down here, we're gonna find even more length and less restriction up here.